Pat began his career with the Sharks, made his name with the Lions, and now he's playing in the Mother City. Jeannie took it upon herself to do some mothering and feed the man. This is a really cool place. I thought this would be the most appropriate place to bring you because I heard you absolutely love burries. And this is actually gourmet Borovos rolls where you can build it up and put whatever toppings you want. So how do you fare in the kitchen? Actually pretty good, not too bad. Um, you know, I actually just thought a burry roll was very simple, just roll, boss, tomato, <laughs> mustard. But uh, today we're going to take it to the next level. Um, I enjoy cooking, so very excited to see what we have today. If he's a long way from mom's cooking, this made up for it, especially Voss from a butchery voted best in the province. Fitting for a man who's also the best at his own game. So I'm a bit of a hot head, but you are a loose head and a tight head. Yes, yeah, sure. Well, um, I prefer just to be a tight head, but I can play loose head as well, preferably tight head. And then at the Sharks, I got moved to loose head as well. And with the system these days where you can have someone on the bench or two props, it really helps make a good impact on the game. Back in the day, though, the prop had to be exactly that, just the prop. But now the game is a lot faster. So how has that affected your training and, of course, eating? I think with the modern game, you have to be explosive and versatile as well as a prop, and you have to contribute a lot more to the game. So, you know, you have to get your tackle count up, ball carries and whatnot. And in the professional area, you have to have your protein shakes and your recovery drinks and all that. So, you brought me to a buri place, um, which I'm very happy about, because now at least I won't get in trouble for eating a buri, but it seems that it's so healthy, I'm very much looking forward to it. At the cable station, Pat smiled again. Thanks to his talent and versatility, he's in line for a Springbok starting spot behind stalwarts Yanni Duplessis and Beastum Tawarira. Pat knows the realities of earning this spot and is up for the challenge. Oh, wow. This is so incredibly beautiful up here. It is, yeah. But this must be really awesome for you to come here, especially because you've just moved to Cape Town. Yeah, so I've only been here for a month, and I think the last time I was on top of the mountains when I was about four, so completely different. The whole cable cart, new, great view, great company, so yeah, really enjoying the experience. Last year, you were also given the green and gold jersey and been made Springbok. What's that been like? As far as challenges, it's really just been a really a crazy ride for me. I really enjoyed every minute. You know, last year we had some trying times in the team, but really at the end of the year we silenced the critics, as you can say, and had a really enjoyable tour and got three out of three. So as far as the challenges, I think this year is going to be a massive year for me. So I'm definitely keen for the challenges that lie ahead today. Speaking of challenges, I haven't just taken you up the mountain for this beautiful view. We're going to go abseiling down there. It's one of my fears, uh, and so hopefully we can overcome the fear of hearts together. The guides were full of cheery information, like this being the world's original highest commercial abseil at a thousand meters above sea level. Pat found himself suddenly aware of every one of those thousand meters. No worries, no. <laughs> Can we turn around now? Is it too late? You can't get back up, my friend. Sorry. No this is too oh boy, I don't even want to look. Just don't look. Just don't look. <laughs> yeah. I'm not Let's look just anymore. stare at the rock. Don't look. <laughs> Can I hold on to this right here? It's fine. <laughs> it's only right. I'm just get looking. up pull the loose one now or something. Yeah, yeah. careful. Okay, guys, I'm just going to double check every, everyone's gates. Safety check. Check everything's good. Cool. We are good to go. Cool. Are you sure something moved there? <laughs> okay. Please don't do that, Pat. <laughs> no, something did move. I don't know what it was. Okay, let's go. I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Are you ready? Three, <laughs> two, one. If he ever throws in the rugby towel, Pat will be able to use his newfound abseiling skill as a firefighter or to rescue injured people, if he could avoid becoming one himself. If I think about your career and what you guys as sportsmen have to do, you've got to be quite hardy and really strong people to overcome all of those challenges and fears. How do you think you fare being put in scary situations? You always just live in the moment, um, just like now and in a game. I mean, a lot of the time, sometimes you aren't prepared for the situation that attacks you. So a lot of the time you live in the moment and trust your sort of instincts and just hope for the best. Just like now, I'm still shaking, but still enjoying it. 
Born in the rural northern Cape town of Achenes and raised in Moy River, this was the kind of adventure Pat grew up with and he fell straight back into it. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> we did it! Yes! <laughs> that was absolutely awesome. That but was. you didn't have any fear in you. I thought you were going to be way more scared. The beginning was pretty intense and I got uh, probably a bit too confident as men do and started jumping and going probably a little bit too fast. As for his rugby, he's now got experience, still has youth on his side and he's in a team that really should deliver. Well with Super Rugby, you honestly can expect anything. I mean, probably the most exciting tournament there's 15 teams going at it. It's going to be some good challenges that lie ahead, but all for the viewer to watch this year. You can do it. Thank you. <laughs> if I can do this, I can do anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a Super Rugby title would be a good 